Hello again, it's the TBI guy uh, speaks, or Chad Klosterman, as far as that goes. Today, I want to show you how I tie my shoes. Now, way back when, 18, well, we'll go 17 years ago, I got really tired of people taking their time, being aggravated or frustrated with tying my shoes, and me waiting on them, and then the smirks I would get from people, ah, oh, I got to tie shoes again, all that other crazy stuff, so I figured out in about an hour how I could tie my shoes by myself. It was really cool and I wasn't real good at it at first and I actually had somebody make a comment once that said it, it, I was laughed at and she says that's not very tight you know kinda joking about it and it kinda ticked me off because here I am with one hand and you're mad about tying my shoes for me but then you're gonna ridicule me for the way I tied them but over the last 17 years, I got it down pretty well. Um, it was kind of funny because it was around Christmas time, and my I was at my mom's house, and I wanted to show my grandma, my grandma Ann, how I tied my shoes. So I, I did it up and everything, and she goes, well, why don't you get Velcro shoes? Your grandfather has Velcro shoes. I said, that's why I'm not getting Velcro shoes, Grandma, because I don't fit that age category. So I continued to tie my shoes, and I'm going to show you how it's done with one hand. First off, what, oh wait a minute, never mind. These ones you don't have to tie because my cousin's husband works for, well used to work for uh, the company that makes these that have boa lacing. And I thought those are cool because all you do is you push the button in the back, you twist this thing and tightens them up good and snug and man they're awesome. They're comfortable, they're waterproof, um, but they quit making them. I, I don't know why probably because of sales, but I've never seen them advertised. So obviously, if you don't advertise something, you're not gonna sell it. So anyways, it's unfortunate, but shoes with ball lacing are really cool if you can find them anymore. I bought the last five pairs of these, I think, when uh, they were shutting them down. In your size. In my size, and these are the last ones that I've got. So anyways, moving on. Actually, you know what, I'm going to put that one back on for a second because I kind of need it to do my last shoe. But first off, or next off I should say, I'm going to go with my high top that's a winter shoe that's uh, a high top. You can't really tie high top shoes with one hand and then be tight at all. So what I did is I bought some smaller shoelaces that are shorter, I tied them in a knot, and then when I get to... Uh, when I need to put them on, obviously, I, I've got them, and all I have to do is wrap them around the loops, like so, and that's it. And, you know, like I said, I you have to adjust them so that way they're going to be tight enough when they're done and on your feet and they don't slide off. But this way, when you have these steel straps like this, that works out great, and it's an easier fix than actually tying your shoes with one hand. And uh, especially, like I said, when you're talking about high tops. Okay, now we're going to go into the grand finale, or the shoes that I wear every single day, for the most part. And basically what you do is you're going to pull the strings tight. You're going to cross them over like you normally would. Do your loop like that, and then you're going to pick that foot up. To tighten that thing down, you're going to pull to your right to keep it snug, and you're going to pull your right shoestring tight. You make your bow, you pinch it, then you can wrap your other shoestring around there, keep it pinched, and push it through. Grab with your two fingers, these two on this bow, these two on that bow, and you pull it tight. And then you can do something as simple as putting this down on your forefinger on there and pull these tighter and they're tight. Show that one again. I will show that one again. And I will do it slow. Again, well, slower. So you can get an idea. I know it's kind of difficult with the camera in my hand. We make our loop. We pull it tight. Make that loop, pinch, and then I switch that finger to wrap it around. 
and you have to manipulate your fingers and change them up a little bit. And you push that in through your hole, you pull it tight, and then you tighten it up by fishing off like that. Mm, pull now, on the tongue. And it's pretty tight. Pretty tight. It's going to take you a while to get that down. I mean, I've been doing it for 17 years. And so it kind of looks sloppy when I do it slow, but it's just because I'm not used to doing it that slow anymore. I'll do it fast. So I will do it like I normally do, and I know you're just going to think, man, I don't get it. It's too hard. It's not too hard. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, and after a while, it's just become second nature. And, you know, it's all about living your life as uh, normally and easily as possible without having to depend on everybody else. And that being said, that is how we do it and that's how it goes. Works really well and uh, with that next week I will look into showing you how I do some food things with my handy dandy little cutting board with suction cups that I modified to do extra things and uh, show you how I can do some eggs and you know make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and all that stuff. But on that note, once again, like, subscribe, share. And you all have a great day. God bless. And uh, we will see you next week about 8 o'clock.